Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. I am JB, of course, and we're taking a look at a knife that I'd never really heard a company, brand, however you want to put it, that I'd never really heard a lot of before until my good buddy Rick Hawk hooked me up and donated this knife to the channel. Now, we're going to be looking at the Elite Tactical folding knife. Let's see, where's the sticker? There it is. Elite Tactical Rapid Lock Black. I had not heard a whole lot about Elite Tactical. And I tell you what, guys, for a pretty, pretty budget knife, this thing's kind of impressing me. So we're going to zoom out and we're just going to take a look at it here real quick. As I said, this is the Elite Tactical folding knife. Now, model number 1028BK. That's really, it really doesn't have a name or other than, what does it say? Elite Tactical Rapid Lock Clip. They call it a clip point. Yeah. Blade. Yeah. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> but I'll show you just where it's impressing me. Uh, G10. G10 handles. G10 backspacer. Stainless liners. Stainless pocket clip. Right hand tip up carry only. Now if you can see in there. Yeah, we've got a decent bit of weight reduction going on skeletonization you can see the skeletonization holes in there yeah yeah for sure all the way down good good weight re weight reduction on it come forward to the blade 8 cr 13 mov as you can see right there elite tactical is the brand satin finish on it there's your Model number, ET1028VK, and yes, it is made in China. Man, this thing, yeah, it, it's, it's impressing me. Let's get some measurements here. So, overall, we're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, almost... Nine inches, really? Yeah, almost nine inches long. You're looking at a handle length of right about five, which is going to give you a blade length of, I mean, your handle's just shy of four, five inches, so your blade length is going to be right around four and pretty much a full cutting edge on it. Four, in, Almost four inches of cutting edge. That's that's not bad. I reason, I know legality issues some places for grip length we're looking at man all of four and a quarter inches as far as grip length so some of you guys that are always commenting about larger knives here's one you might want to take a look at honestly lanyard hole there now as you can see there they're calling this their rapid lock system and I tell you what, guys, <laughs> it's a rapid drop, I'll tell you that. Runs on ball bearings, as you saw there on the box, ball bearing pivot. Pretty smooth opening. That close, though, I mean, all right, let's go from, f yeah. All right, we'll go at like 85 degrees. Yep, it's coming shut. Pretty Pretty smooth action on that. Dual thumb stud deployment. Thumb studs are eh, pretty much out of the cutting path. Now you see their big time smile. Don't have a choil there. So I think we definitely want to be cutting a sharpening choil in there. Yeah, things got a big time smile on it. But yeah, cut a choil in there. No issues whatsoever. Get a little file. 
put you one in there. No problem at all. Let's get a weight on that. We talked about the skeletonization. Let's get a weight and see what it weighs out. It does have a little bit of weight to it. It's not bad. Oh, turn it on first. Alright, let's see here. Grams. We're going to start on grams. 150, so it does have a little bit of weight. 5.3 ounces. Now, even though I say it does have a little bit of weight, didn't carry heavy to me. It it carried pretty nice. I mean, yes, it's got a little bit of weight to it, so you can definitely feel it. Pocket clip, like I said, pretty, pretty deep carry. Pretty smooth in and out of pocket. Yeah, I mean, it's not completely gone, but that's a pretty deep carry. Pretty impressive. Good retention on it. Good retention on the clip. I mean, you can pull it out, but still pretty darn good. Not recessed screws in the pocket clip. I know a lot of people, but when I get to the... When I tell you how much this thing costs, you'll, you'll probably understand. I'm just impressed with the action on this thing. I mean, now, being a, bu a budget knife from China, I'm not sure how the springs will hold up. You know what I mean? I mean, even Benchmade's Omega Springs do break. So, I'm not sure, you know, how that would come into play. But, doggone. Let's see. Absolutely solid lockup. As I said, definitely definitely need to cut a choil in there. Get rid of that smile. I mean, you know. And obviously, your thumb studs to get back there. It's going to cause a little bit of... Especially if you use a, you know, a KME or something like that. I could see that causing a bit of a problem. But if you cut your choil, you pretty much alleviate that issue. Nice. Nice looking clip. Nice swedge. For sure, swedge runs all the way down there. I really like the way the that blade looks. Nice satin finish. No jimping. Um, it might not hurt if there was some, but your thumb does have a good landing pad there, so definitely not a must. But it, it wouldn't hurt, honestly. I can get a really good grip on this knife. Comfort-wise, it's very comfortable. Very comfortable in hand. The pocket clip is not an issue for me at all. Even do the one I don't do very often. Because, well, I don't see a reason. But, unless I plan on getting into a fight. But, yeah. Wow. Wow. Pretty darn impressed. All right, all right. I'll go ahead and tell you. So, this one, I started looking around. I found it on Amazon, and I was like, oh, really? I think on Amazon, it's like 53 bucks. I'm like, really? You know, HCR 13, you know, I mean, yeah, it's got the rapid lock on it. I was like, really? Wow. Started digging a little more, and I found this on KnifeCountryUSA.com. That's where I found this exact model. And there's a few other Tactical Elite models. I found them, you know, on that one. I found some on Grindworks. Um, guys, 17 bucks. $17 for this knife. On KnifeCountryUSA.com. I, I will definitely leave a link down in the description. But the other cool thing is right at the top of the page on Knife Country... It says, use coupon code UNITED and save 10%. So you're going to get this thing if you order it. I mean, without shipping. I don't know how much they charge for shipping. But a little over 15 bucks. Dude, this is a pretty solid knife for 15 bucks. Dang, for what you get? 8CR13, this rapid lock system. I mean, we all know what it is, but it's not. Because it's not. 
I'm pretty darn impressed, guys. I am very, very pleased and thankful that my buddy Rick Hawk sent this, donated it to the channel to check out. Because again, never really seen or heard anything from Elite Tactical, but man, I'm, I'm fairly impressed. Fairly impressed with his... Blue was impressed. He gives it an 8.5. For what it is, I think that is an excellent, excellent value and an excellent rating for this knife. It's nothing special, but for what you get, for the price you get it at, yeah. Yeah, I'm on board, without a doubt. Now, I don't know if you remember, but I did... Blue has a new companion... Boba Fett? Yeah, my son got this for me for Christmas. I, I love Boba Fett. I am a Star Wars fan. Boba Fett is by far my favorite. And you know, we thought Boba Fett might join the, join the crew as far as rating knives. But as he does in the movie, he doesn't say a lot. He just stands there and looks really cool. So I think that's what he's going to do. But thanks again, Rick. I greatly appreciate you sending along this knife for us to check out. It's absolutely awesome. For what I say, for what you get, for even if you paid the price listed, it, it's listed at $17.05. Okay, add a little bit of shipping. Even if they charge, even if you paid 25 bucks for this knife with shipping, I think you're getting a really, really solid knife at a really good price. You know, wow. I'm impressed, Rick. Thank you very much. And thank all of you for spending some time with me today checking out the Elite Tactical Rapid Lock Clip Point Blade Knife. 1028 BK is the model on it. As always, guys, thanks again. Like, subscribe, leave me a comment. You know I love talking to y'all. Till next time, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.